How's it going, everyone? I'm Gio, and I finished the master grade in one week. Welcome back to the channel everyone. This video is definitely different than what you're used to seeing here. It's not a build along. It's definitely not a part one, two or three. It's just simply a completed build that I wanted to share with you because I thought it was really cool that I was able to finish this in one week. Now the idea of building this in one week was not on purpose. It definitely wasn't intentional. I didn't start on Sunday saying that I wanted to get it done by Saturday, but by Wednesday night, I was actually on track to finish the entire thing. And then I challenged myself to put it together. With that being said, I didn't rush. I didn't do anything that I normally wouldn't do if I was taking my time with it. And that's what makes this kit actually so special to me. Now this master grade came out in 2003 and it was the regular release, but I was always intending to paint it Char's colors anyways. So that definitely didn't matter to me. Now for its age, it definitely holds up very, very well. There's a large amount of poly caps and the parts go together really, really easy, which is probably why it only took me a week to do this entire build. I gotta say, for someone like me who enjoys really easy paint jobs, this is probably one of the easiest kits I've ever painted. There are very few areas where paint could scratch or rub off, and I wanna talk to you about those areas now. There are only four areas that you wanna be concerned about during final assembly, and that's gonna be your arms and your legs. The ball and socket joints are actually extremely tight, and you don't have a ton of space once the full armor is on to get the arms in and the legs in. My advice to you, would be to actually just sandwich the two halves together of the upper torso and put the arms in first, then put the outer armor on top of it. Same thing with the legs. Before you go ahead and put the armor on, push those legs in, be very careful. That'll give you the most amount of space so that you don't end up scratching those pieces. Other than that, there are no other rubbing areas that are gonna mess up your paint job. As I mentioned before, I didn't rush myself. I still did the build as if I always wanted to. I only did two major updates or modifications. That would be adding these Kotobukiya thrusters to the torso area along with small plot plate strips. And then I ended up 
using some enamel paint and I painted them green just to make that pop a little bit more. You know I love decals. The decals that I ended up using was the full sheet of Delpy's decals for the Master Grade Zagok. These decals are really, really good. I'm not sponsored by Delpy. I'm not being paid to say this, but if you're a patron of this channel, you know that I always want you to get the best bang for your buck and to enjoy building. And Delpy decals have never done me wrong. And what I really like about their decals is that they don't just mimic what Bandai gives you on a sticker sheet. They actually give you a custom design and I really like their design. I used all the decals that they provided. On top of that, I used some Child of Mecha decals to fill in the gaps where I felt that it could have needed more detail. However, I did purchase some third-party decals that I was not happy with. I only used maybe six of them and that's all that I could stomach because they were very brittle. They're just poor quality. I'm not gonna give you a link to them. They're pretty trashy. They silvered up really, really easily. I ended up using, what did I say, six. The ones that say kill on the arms, Xeon forever on the leg, Shars custom on the head. They weren't really good, but I was able to hide my crimes and fix them as best as possible. Other than that, this was just a straightaway paint job. This color scheme, as I mentioned before, is definitely not new to me. It might be new to you if you haven't seen my Master Grade 3.0 RX-78. I did the same exact color scheme using SMS Paints. SMS is my new favorite paint brand, and I really like how these three colors interact with each other. And I'm probably gonna do this for all of Char's kits. I plan on having all of them together in this color scheme. For the arms and legs, I painted them using Nazca's Super Heavy. Now this is a paint and primer and up until a couple days ago i was just going to leave them that nice gray color until i put the kit together and i kind of noticed that they seemed a little plain jane now i could have went ahead and scribed some lines and added details but i wanted to try uh, like a ghost camo scheme so that's exactly what you're looking at if you look very closely you'll see that there's a really subtle um, like camouflage effect to the arms and legs i love that Basically, I went ahead and used some camo masking that I picked up a little while ago and sprayed using Titan's Blue, which came out really, really nice. Now, this was a afterthought, so it, the decals were already on. I had a mask over the decals, which I did very carefully. It was top coated, so that did help. But after masking and painting, I went ahead and just wet sanded with like a 6,000 grit sandpaper sponge. Uh, one last tip that I would give you is when you're building this kit, there are multiple rubber pieces. A uh, pretty cool gimmick. You'll find these in the waist section as well as in the feet and torso. If you saw at the beginning when I was kind of putting it together, they're very stretchy. Now, the instructions are going to tell you to go ahead and use your nippers to cut them. They're really, really gummy. What I ended up doing was just getting some sharp scissors, cutting as close to the line as possible. I cleaned up the area using my USA Gundam hobby knife, which is one of my new favorite knives. You might be telling me, hey, it's just a knife. Absolutely, it is just a knife, but what I really like about it is this tip right here. I don't know if it was designed for this, but when you're masking pieces, it definitely helps like laying them down and kind of like sticking them onto the piece. So I really use it more for like the edge. And the knife is actually really, really good sharp and you get like 15 blades um so for the price it's a really really good hobby knife so there you have it the master grade zagak casval custom color scheme using sms paints this was a lot of fun this was definitely a one week build i definitely challenge each and every one of you to try to complete something in a week as long as it doesn't add any undue stress so as always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this please like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to further support me, the easiest way to do that is to use my code GEO10 the next time that you shop at usagunnamstore.com. There you have it, guys. The Master Grade Zagak in all of its glory with the nice custom red paint job. I had a blast building it, and I'll catch you on the next one.